In this video, you will see the power of Katia to capture the knowledge of your company into templates that you will be able to reuse from one project to another to do either design exploration or get quick quantities and cost estimates. This is based on the civil engineer role. To illustrate it, I build a parametric template of a steel girder span. It contains the concrete slab, steel girders and diaphragms. This is based on four inputs, could be as many as you want, an axis system for the start of the span, one for the end, a tree alignment, and an alignment surface containing all the specifications of the road, such as super elevation, crown or planar, widening of the road, etc. Parameters are driving the template, such as the number of girders. Here, I will define five, for example. When changing the number, all the design operations are updated. This means the number of diaphragms will be updated, the spacing between the girders will be recalculated from the edge of the span. Everything can be driven by a parameter. For example, we can remove the pavement by defining a thickness of zero. The slab will then be moved upward till the road surface. In this example, I have a left and right sidewalk. By using a Boolean parameter, true or false, I will change a sidewalk by a crash barrier. We could have as many options as required there. Same way, most of the thicknesses for the girder and diaphragms, such as the flanges and web thicknesses, are driven by parameters. This is the same for the width of the sidewalk. You can see that the girder spacing parameter has been automatically updated. Now, let's see how we can reuse this data on different projects. The first alignment has a skew angle of 40 degrees that is handled by rotating the axis system, the YZ plane. It has a left and right lane with a crown profile. I go to instantiate from selection, I pick the user defined feature shown before, and I select the four inputs. The same parameters as shown before are still accessible. Let's change the pavement thickness to 2 inches, the number of girders to 5, and define a crash barrier on the right side. I can now compute the template. The span is instantiated following our requirements. Notice that the skew angle is applied on the span and that the diaphragms are also following this angle. At any time, I can re-edit the template to modify a parameter. Here, we will add the sidewalk on the right. Now, a second example with a four lanes road surface. This time, I will define six girders, no sidewalks, only crash barriers on the side. Check how the girders and diaphragms are following the road surface. For the diaphragms, the lowest girder is considered as reference for the vertical positioning. Finally, let's say that we have a bridge composed of several spans. This example might not be realistic in terms of bridge design, but it will highlight the capabilities of the tool. We have three lanes and a widening in the turn. We could manually instantiate the template at different locations. But this can be automatically done using component-based design that will allow us to generate automatically the pattern of axis system and instantiate the templates. Inputs and parameters will be available the same way as we have them in the template, and we will be able to change the values either for the whole bridge, either for a specific span. Finally, we have just to compute the bridge. Those templates are really efficient to explore design alternatives. And they do not require any specific scripting skills. Those are just regular design operations that we capture in a kind of black box, the user-defined feature, with dedicated inputs and outputs. During this video, we only computed the spans of the bridge, 
but in a similar way we can also generate abutments and peers through a dedicated interface called the Bridge Design Assistant that we will see in the next video.